We decided all the footage from 2020. All right, hi. So, me and Dana. That's the start today. I know, we decided all the footage from 2020, we're gonna keep, start off fresh. I know you guys miss Thanksgiving and Christmas and yeah. New Year's it wasn't and- anything more than different. It wasn't anything different than yours. We stayed the park home. And there you, you go. Didn't stay home, then you should have. Anyway, it is Tuesday, January 19th. Tomorrow's inauguration day. Um, we went to BJ's. We needed some stuff for the guinea pigs. We needed water. We needed mm, drinks for the kids. Drinks for the kids. And a couple go. other different things. We are trying to use everything that we have as far as meat goes. We have a lot of stuff that's in our freezer, in our deep freezer, in the other freezer, in this freezer, blah, blah, blah. okay? So we're only gonna go shopping for the things we need, like fresh greens, like we needed romaine, so we got romaine. Eggs. Eggs. We needed mayo, Definitely light the wrong mayo. Meat. She's pounding meat. Um, we're having pork chops. I'm, I'm making butter porch garlic. I just sauteed some uh, spinach uh, for dinner. What else? Dana's got purple hair. I'm sure you guys have seen that before. I think the last time you seen it, it might have been like pink. Now it's purple, again. But she had blue before. I did. Mm -hmm. Red, blue, purple now. So. We should make it green and yellow. Maybe she'll be all the colors with the rainbow. <laughs> Ooh, show them that. Oh. So, see that? Arlo makes these. Well, it's not obviously Christmas anymore, but look, isn't that fucking cute? Yep. Um, I need to split. That's the wall. Yeah, we need to start picking up the camera more, but we're going to be doing once a week updates. There you go. The there you go. Like it's like, thing. I don't know how to speak. Well, never mind. That, that really doesn't change. No. But, um, we gotta get back into the swing of things. I know you guys have heard this before, and, know, and it's like beating miss, a dead horse. Miss us. Like, Emily, I know you don't have Instagram anymore, and you don't want Instagram, and you're asking us about vlogs. So, here you go. Hi, Emily. <clears throat> I don't know. Say that. And hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff! So this is what we had for dinner. We had some dressing. <laughs> with a couple of cucumbers and tomatoes. <laughs> we forgot to show you because we're so hungry. Anyway, there was like a little teeny cucumber, onion, and tomato salad in there. And then we had a blue glove with some wet paper towels and a little bit of spinach juice. So, you know, it was delicious. Really was good. Where are you laughing? We forgot to show you. This is what we do. Listen, you have to forgive us. We have to get back into this, okay? On that little salad, I did have the best blue cheese dressing ever other than making your own. It was delicious. This is like, we've repurchased this a couple times now because I just can't get enough of it, truthfully. And I'm a huge blue cheese fan. Whoo, love me some blue cheese. My dad got me into that when I was a kid. I was like not really into it when he first gave it to me. I was like, oh, it tastes weird. It's got funky cheese in it. And then I just was hooked after that. Kind of like the way coffee went. He gave me a taste of it and now I'm an, an addict. Anyway, um, so we had a really good lunch. Lunch? No, that was dinner. Uh, <laughs> we had a good dinner. I, I, I like seeing you fucking up right now. We had a good dinner. I don't know if she told you we had oatmeal. 
Did you tell you nope. we had we had, we had note meal for breakfast this morning and it was delicious. On Instagram, I have a highlight on how I make it. I know you don't really give a fuck and most of you don't really like to go over to Instagram. That's that's fine. If but you want if you want to know how to make it though, you'd go over there. But if you missed Dana that much. Yeah, if you missed me that much, you you'd be over there already. Anywho, so today, like she said, is Tuesday. I forgot to pick it up yesterday. I wanted to start fresh on a Monday, but yeah, you know, that didn't happen. Why you gotta start on Monday? Just start now. That is true, but I, for me, the week starts on a Monday. For you, the week starts on a Sunday. Who? All right, in the comments, tell me. Already, Jesus. In the comments, tell me. You're already causing a divide. In the comments, <laughs> tell me. When does your week start? Does it start on a Sunday or does it start on a Monday? For me, it's a Monday. For Arlo, it's a Sunday. Team Dana or Team Arlo? Yeah, which one? I want to know. Because I want to know if I'm fucking crazy or not. Anyway, um, the kids had... Oh, so in reality, we had that salad and then I made some boneless pork chops for myself and the kids. They had theirs breaded. I just sauteed mine up. I pounded them out so they were super thin because they were too thick. And then Arlo had two bone-in pork chops. They were like a shoulder cut. So she had that. We had some sauteed spinach and poached garlic. And then uh, that's it. That's all we had. I swear. Um, why is she staring at you? My dad actually made us some homemade chocolate ice cream. It is sugar-free. He made it with monk fruit and uh, unsweetened cocoa powder. I'm excited to try that. We're gonna toast up some pecans later and then we'll probably throw some chocolate chips on top. We're gonna have a whole spiel of things. We do like... Um, we See here, you don't have to worry about four slides. Yeah, I know. We do like to eat like the Enlightened ice cream. Aldi's has like a keto collection. Um, but those things, man, sh there's a lot of shit in those things. Like at least I know what this, what went into this. You know what I mean? It's straight up just cream, unsweetened cocoa powder, and monk fruit. He used the Lacanto, and that's it. You know what I mean? He put vanilla in it as well, like um, vanilla extract, a little of that. And I think he might have put some uh, vanilla bean because vanilla bean, he bought some vanilla bean. I'm not sure though. Maybe he didn't. But we're going to have that while we watch Blacklist tonight. And yes, we are hooked on Blacklist. We're obsessed with Raymond Reddington. Me and Arlo have a crush on him. I think Austin might have a crush on him too. So the three of us have a crush on him. We are finally on season seven on Netflix. It took a while to catch up, but we're there. And now we're going to be watching that tonight with our big ass bowl of ice cream. And um, I'm excited for that. What are you doing? Answer in the comments. You'll probably see this in a week, so you could let me know what you're doing in a week. You need to drink more. Uh, my arms. We did. We've been doing the epic workouts on YouTube. Caroline, that bitch will. She'll rip you up. I am like, ooh, but really good working out so if you are into like she has all different kinds of she has hit like it's a 10-week program she has hit she has upper body she has lower body she's got core she's got full body she's got dumbbell use weight your uh, body weight use like it's, it's a, a little bit of everything anyway i'm gonna go fill this up and uh put the shit in the sink and sit my ass down. Happy Wednesday. Today's the 20th of uh, January. We didn't come on here. We went for a walk this morning. We had um, tuna salad for lunch. We've been watching TV all day. I wonder why. It's inauguration day. Yes. I said today's the 20th of January. And we are about to have dinner. Uh, Dana made some Alfredo. I think we're having it with chicken and shrimp, along with some uh, It's Skinny um, noodles. I think they're just shirataki noodles, to be quite honest. Um, we actually got them at BJ's. Never seen them before. No, we haven't seen that there before. It's been a while since we've been there anyway. So um, I'll show you what dinner looks like in just a second. Sorry. Okay, so here's dinner. Uh, cheesy breadsticks. Um, no, bread. Cheesy breadsticks. Yeah. Breadsticks. 
how uh, we've made these before. And then here is the Alfredo with the noodles. Actually, they have a little bit of cuddle and that they're not like translucent. But um, here's the shrimp and chicken and Alfredo sauce. Hola, it is Thursday. Dana is singing. Can you hear her? We're not gonna get copyrighted. No. Okay, so it's the 21st. It is um, about 12.30 or so. Uh, Dan is making, I was gonna say breakfast, but it's more like lunch. We got back from the Can Can sale at ShopRite. ShopRite does, you know, discounted um, cans of vegetables and stuff like that. We also got some detergent and uh, fabric softener for like a dollar. It's like three for three. Doesn't really matter what brand for us. No, it washes our clothes. It's cheap. So then is making uh, breakfast, lunch, shit, lunch, and um, I'm working on the computer trying to figure stuff out. So here's my lunch. Uh, I've got pretty much like a, a taco omelet or something. It's um, got the taco meat. That's leftovers. These are leftover veggies from when Dana roasted a chicken. I'm going to put some green sauce and some sour cream on my omelet. I think Dana might be having something different. I know she's got egg whites. Okay, we're home from the dentist. We're gonna eat something, not a lot. We're having some tuna, just in a bowl. Um, so two hard boiled eggs, and I'm having turkey bacon, and I'm gonna have a couple of these flackers. I haven't tried them yet. I'll let you know if I like them. I'm probably not gonna like them, truthfully, but we'll see. And then maybe a couple of pork rinds, and of course, agua. Really? See, so I didn't have to say anything. No, you didn't, asshole. Yeah, we went to uh, the dentist. We both had cleanings. We both need fillings. Yeah. So now, it's lunchtime. Hola, it's Saturday the uh, 23rd of January. It's a uh, quarter after 11. And um, she's got Melvin, right? No, it's Vinny. She's got Vinny right there, and she's watching Mean Girls too. I didn't know there was a part two. Anyway, talking about a guinea pig, we're gonna go ahead and adopt another one. He's a single, single male. He's like two months old. So we're gonna see if we can bond him with Melvin because uh, Melvin has been lonely for the past X amount of years. And uh, we're hoping that they will get along. Next time you see us, we'll be parents again. Okay, so we are home. We had a whole lot of running around to do. We saw uh, Ma and Pop. Um, they were asking us to do something. Well, they were asking me to do something with their hula. I thought you had a bunch. I don't have a bunch. I think I have three left now. I didn't know that. Um, had to go back after ShopRite. I needed to pick up... Um, uh, prescription and uh, we needed some stuff for the babes and some half and half or light cream heavy cream I don't know all that stuff um, <clears throat> and we went back because I had to reset their email because you know somebody changed it and then uh, had to go and log back in for pop anyway I know you guys have already seen him. Look, this is Raymond Reddington. Can you tell why? Do you know why his name is? Because we love the blacklist. He is so friggin' tiny. Look, here's the size of my hand. What can you see? Can you see? You can tell that they're babies because his nails are still pointed, but he is so friggin' soft. Hello. Ray, oh my goodness. He's super sweet. Look at this face. He really is sweet. Look at this face. Hmm. You're going to hear lots of sounds, little one. Look. Lots of sounds. I'll see. Can you, can you see his nails? Wait. Right there. They're small and pointed. Okay, I'm going to go spend some time with him. Okay, before I put you guys down. Sammy's got Melvin on the table. 
Okay. See, look at how small this guy is. Okay. Can can you see how small him is? Look at the size of Melvin. Look at the si look at the size of Melvin. Am I even in frame? I can't tell. Yeah. Look at Melvin. He's, he's so an old pretty. man. He's three years old. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. No, he's not. Is he really? We got him 2018. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. He's like three years old and this one this guy's like two months old. Mm-hmm. We love them so much. Oh, it's been a while. I don't know if, if you guys have seen. Um, those are the boys. That's Vinny peep uh picking his head out. Peeping his head out. Polly is usually uh in one of the huts. That's the girls over there with the pink thing on top, and then Melvin's over in the corner. Alright, so we had dinner. Dana made uh, hey, I need to edit these videos tomorrow. curry chicken, curry chicken, and, we and we had some, uh, oh here, I can show them, wait, one minute, stop it, knock the fuck off, for me, yeah, no, I was going to show them, oh, here. I thought you were going to be, uh, you know, no, funny, no, there's a lot left, we're going to eat it on Monday, right. call it fried rice, or no, just call it flour rice, it's actually mm -hmm. really good, I know it looks like baby food, but it's not, mm-hmm, it actually was really good. It was good. Um, and we had a salad. Yeah. And then we introduced uh, the boys. Not physically. Um, Ray was in the cage and Melvin was outside. So they know each other exists. We did not want to stress anyone out. So that's the only meeting and greeting that happened today. And then I got a bunch of packages um, from Jiffy Shirts. One of the places I buy uh, my shirts. Um... Did you I, legit have a store now, like a storefront-ish? Oh yeah, we kind of have like an Etsy shop. No, we don't kind of like have one. We have an Etsy shop. We have an Etsy shop, so if you guys are interested, we have, it's not anything that has our names on it, it's just all cool shit that we come up with. So you guys gotta, you guys gotta take a look. We'll uh, put it here, we'll link it in the description. Yeah, if you um, wanna take a look. Also, like the reason why I have you know, so much shit is because I'm trying to figure out like shirts. I know some of you guys have, have bought shirts in the past and you know I appreciate that so very much. This is um, totally different though. I liked that material, but I'm trying to branch out and not just have unisex shirts because not everybody likes unisex shirts. Because yeah, so apparently they're boxy. Tops. So I'm trying to look for a nice women's shirt. I'm trying to look for a nice like tank top tank or whatever. Top, yeah. So there's like, it's about feel and fit. And I've got to have a high polyester count for sublimation. Like I did get some dark ones because, you know, I could still do vinyl on them. And I want to try my uh, hand at screen printing. So there's like a whole bunch of options. There's, okay. So just because there's you know this tank top i might like it but you know it might be a little too see-through or you know it might be a little too thin or like it just doesn't fit right like dana liked these um these shirts yeah they were nice they were really nice it had a scoop neck true it was size. nice thin like true to size yeah. but like the bottom it was like a high low but the hems on the bottom were unfinished. It looked like someone just cut off the front of it. It, was weird. it. it looked a little weird. And even when I was looking back on the description, it didn't say anything about like an unhemmed Dude, bottom, nor deep. did it say that they just cut off a piece of the bottom and it looks weird. Yeah, they made it a high low. It wasn't, <laughs> it, they made it a high low, it wasn't a high low. Do you know what I mean? There you go, it just looked like somebody just cut off the bottom. Yeah, like my fucking Whatever. daughter cut the bottom. So, like I buy shirts, and then it's like another package. I was like, I gotta, I gotta figure out what's nice. I don't want. I know there are people out there, and yada yada. You buy a shirt, you just press it, whatever. I don't want someone to come back at me and be like, ah, you know what? I, I mean, I know it's gonna happen, but it was really thin. It just didn't fit right. At least I know going off the bat, looking at the shirt, feeling yeah. the shirt, that it might be a little on the thin side. At least I can, you know, tell somebody. You might want to size up. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
And, yeah. And and if you don't find something that's like true, true, true to size, at least you can write in the description. It's not true to size. Go up a size. Yeah, always go up a size. It runs a little large. Go down a size. Runs a little small. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. Dana's making coffee. I gotta make I'm some coffee. I'm gonna edit these videos tomorrow so that Arlo can put this up. We're gonna try to put a video up every Sunday. We're gonna try our hardest. If you have to get up on early on Sunday morning to do that, then you have to do it. I will make sure I uh, edit Saturday night. There you go. So, yeah, that's what's going on. A whole bunch of packages and a whole bunch of returns.